I first learned what a yurt was during my first group trip to China. I'd gone to China to live there and study Mandarin in college for a semester, and then I traveled with a group of martial artists there. And we went to Hohat in Inner Mongolia and stayed at a little compound or motel network or whatever you want to call it, a collection of yurts, our whole group. And I was very food poisoned at the time because I got a little bit too adventurous with the street food in Beijing. And that carried over on the short trip a little further north into Hohat, Mongolia. Mongolia was a really interesting place. The weather was really nice, grasslands everywhere. And then in the middle of these grasslands, no trees in sight, boom, yurts. I love the movie Dancing with Wolves with Kevin Costner. It's a great movie. And in that movie, it shows how the Native American people could easily just pack up their entire civilization. They're able to gather up all their teepees and people and belongings very quickly and move the entire community somewhere else to follow the herds of buffalo or to follow the weather. So when I was staying in Mongolia, we checked into these yurts and they were very teepee-like, so I loved it. I had this sense that it was like a nomadic thing, live in a house that was able to be collapsed and moved and erected somewhere else. So then my friends Derek and Hannah built themselves a tiny house and I realized there's this whole subculture of people out there that I learned about through social media, through YouTube, that love to build and live in mobile or tiny houses. And a lot of times they consider a yurt to be like a mobile or tiny dwelling. So when we came out to this property, I thought, you know, I think I want to deal with a yurt. And Nicole and I talked about it, she was up for it. And so we were off to the races. But where do you find a yurt? Do you build it yourself? Do you go to somebody else who put up a yurt? How do you do a yurt? I'm not Mongolian. <laughs> I don't know yurts. So I found about 10 different companies who sell yurts. One was in Europe, one was in Mongolia, one was in China, a few were in America and Canada. I ended up reaching out to a lot of them just to see what kind of yurts they made or they put up or they sold. And I narrowed it down to about three different yurt companies that I liked the best in which I thought their yurts were the classiest, the cleanest, and the most safe and well put together. And we ended up talking in depth and visiting a company called Pacific Yurts. Pacific Yurts has different size of yurt. And Nicole and I know that we wanted to have a space for Qigong in the yurt, a space for yoga in the yurt, a space for cooking with lots of natural light in the yurt, wood burning stove, a bedroom that is a loft up on high that we have to kind of like climb a staircase to go and get. We wanted a yurt that can house some animals like cats and dogs and who knows, maybe kids someday as well. So we went with a 30 foot yurt and we've spent the last month, month and a half building the platform for the yurt, building it up so it can have storage underneath. Here's the carport we put up already from Easy Build Structures. If you guys are just tuning into our channel, you can go watch me build it in the rain here in the forest. Many folks don't realize that we brought the yurt with us and we've had it this past month covered in tarps. So underneath here is insulation for the yurt and the lattice wall. Over here are the roofing beams and the dome clear top of the teepee or the yurt. So Nicola's up here christening the platform right now. <laughs> some morning yoga sesh. How's the platform? Great. Sturdy. Feel strong? Yeah. Cool. And uh, I'm really excited because for the first time in a month, month and a half, we're gonna go and take the tarps off the yurt, release the beast, and put this thing up. So if you guys have wanted to see the yurt go up, this is the video for you. Please leave a nice comment. Nicole and I love the nice comments. Hit the like button bell button to turn on notifications for future update videos and let's get to this yurt.
coyotes. Three, four, one, two, three. Cut, hang on. Cut, so let's go for it. Two. And then practice that cut like you're cutting through some ribs and just slicing them open. Like coming at them, coming back. There you go. Good. Two more. Good. One more. Push around the head here. And now this side, let's go back and forth. This hand right here. From groin to chin, up, up. It's like the bow step I was showing you. Two more. Push block again. Come on. Let's push block. Good. So I can hit you right in the hand and your hand is behind it so it won't get hurt. In case it's a sword. So the other hand just reinforces. Good. Which one feels better? This one. Very good. Strong. The other hand braces. Two more. <laughs> block it. Okay, two more now. One more. Good. Block it down. And you can like use some body. Good. Like, think of it as like, yeah, there we go. Athletic, you're very athletic, so use it. I'm gonna thrust you now. Block it out of the way. Don't let it come in at you. See how hard I... Go again. I'm trying to break it in half, so... Ooh, that's better. Good. It's up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. So start off that big circle and then tighten it up. And when you block, you attack. So you don't block in defense, you attack hard. Good. Three more. Good. Not so hard. Two more. But go down below the knee. Not to it, but below it. The knee. Good. Block it. Good. One more. Good. And go high, in, low. Head and leg. Now, other leg. Head and leg. Good. Again. Head. Leg. Good. Head. Leg. One more. Here we go. Come on. Let's go. Come on. <laughs> exactly. Good. Power up. Your up has to be more powerful. Your down is good. Good. Head groin. Give me. Let's go. Good. <laughs> Two more. One more. Come on. This hand here. With the staff. Good. Do it. Oh yeah, how are we gonna get it over there? <laughs> are you being serious? It's like 800 pounds. This is so heavy. Why don't I lift up one side onto the wheelbarrow? That's what I was thinking. You wheelbarrow backwards, and I'll walk forwards on the other side. Resting on the belt, and I'll be like this, coming forward like that. Okay, you're gonna scoop it under. Get ready to flex. Freeze.
again. Just get it onto the plywood so it's more of an angle. Heaviest piece on. Down. Platform. Platform. Is virginal and ready. That's weird. <laughs> ready to receive the yurt. Yes. Uh, where's the front door gonna go? The front door is gonna go over here. Because we can turn it any way you want. Yeah. So why cool. do you want it over there? What's the thought? Um, because as we've said before, we are on an old logging road. And so the logging road continues out this way into our property mm. and it actually exits out onto the main road mm. so we'd use that as a driveway so we're going to keep clearing all of the alders and the salmon berries this way and it just would be perfect and i mean you can even see the mountains i mean you guys can't really see yeah they can look look at how what nicole's talking about it looks like because you can see the mountains up here we're going to clear a lot of that so then we'll really be able to see and like the sunset like when the sun is setting over here the reflection of the sunset over here, like the, the purples and the pinks and the blues, you can see... Oh, son of a bitch. You swallow a bug? <coughs> right to the fly to the back of my throat. Oh. <coughs> that was just in my throat. Ew, don't show them. Why not? Ew, that's disgusting. <coughs> anyway, while he recovers, we're going to put the oh, door over God. here because this continues through and we're going to line the property or line the road with fruit trees and cherry trees so they blossom during the spring it'll be really pretty so we're putting it over here i mean this looks like the 18th tee box at augusta national where you gotta hit the tee shot right between that tight little tree line fairway and uh it looks great i mean this is like calling to our front door yeah so but seriously okay. like do you want it to be pointing that way or pointing the direction of the shoe well, once we stand there then we'll see what is the exact middle of the road from where we're standing. We can't determine it from right here. We have to go over there. Do it. I'm going to cut it right now. All right. Tell us all what here. you decided. Are you sure? I mean, I look, do I look center from your point of view? Like from this side to this side, because the road is directly in the middle. Do I look center? No. No? To be honest, like two steps more right there. Right here? And on this side, this looks center. Like right, hold your hands right there. That looks center, like right there. Okay. I mean, to be honest, right. so I'm gonna stand where you're standing, and then you stand back and look. Yeah, I think that looks good. Cause don't orient it to all the all the bush, cause the bush is gonna be gone. I know. That's why I'm trying to think of like this tree and this tree, and then you see the road down below. Yeah. So this is the front door. Right so the here. door should open right here. The center of the door should be in the middle of my crotch. That's yeah. Okay. Okay. So according to the Pacific Yurts manual, the door for French doors, which we have, needs to be 55 and 5 eighths inches. So we're going to make the center approximately 27 and 3 quarters. <clears throat> mm. 
the this door. space here has to be 55 and 5 eighths all the way yeah, across. Yeah. Double check. Boom, right on it. You're right on that right there? Yep. <clears throat> Can we open it now? Can we? Can we? <laughs> Need my knife? I got it. like empowering like we worked so hard on this stupid platform and now we can actually like get the yurt out we've been staring at this for so long i don't know how to describe the feeling i'm feeling right now this is really awesome <laughs> people are asking us why a yurt and i mean it's like a human right it's very empowering to build your own yes shelter. i have never built anything this grandiose before it's holy moly and you're this also is really like i feel like I have superpowers. You don't get the same feeling if you overextend yourself on a mortgage where a bank owns you for 30 years, yeah. on a house you don't need that somebody convinced you to get in yeah. the city. This is like you and me owning our life and building our own shelter which should be like a human right. Yeah, this is really awesome, guys. Yeah. Are we into your knife technique here? <laughs> what? I know, I'm, I'm, you better watch out. I'm really excited that I got a knife, uh oh. <laughs> This is a really good wrapping job, by the way. They yeah. really did a good job. Pacific Yurts did everything to the nines. You got low, I got high. present for you. Oh, it smells so good. Wait, what was that? It smells so good. Yeah. It's the wood. Oh my god. <laughs> that was the, that was the most epic that's what she said of all time. It smells so good. Pause <laughs> the wood. <laughs> Don't oh. cut the string. <laughs> Don't cut the string. Okay. Not yet. Oh. Let's just untie it in case we need it. Wow, you guys, this looks so good. Wow. <laughs> we survived the parents' test. This has been our baby and our egg, and we've kept this nice for the past yeah. eight months and through some crazy conditions. Yeah. It's not rotted, it's not broken. I can't, I mean, it's great. <laughs> the outside is the side with the holes in the middle of the rivets, while the inside has no holes in the rivets.
What she doesn't realize is that now I've brought her all the way out into the wilderness alone and put her in a cage. Now I've got her in my prisoner. What do you think about the size of the space? I think it's perfect. It's big. It's, it's just what we need, honestly, for two people. I brought you all the way out here into the wilderness and have put you in a cage. Oh. French door time. Okay. You're like the cutest inchworm I ever saw. My little inchworm. You just hold it from flopping over. Freeze. The only other heavy part is the top cover. But that's just heavy because it's malleable and flexible. Okay, I'm not holding it. I got it. Eight, nine months and... Oh, it's so pretty! <laughs> Did it break? No! Oh my god, it looks gorgeous! And it even has a bug cover! <gasps> Perfect. I love it. Screen. Yes. Hey, wow. kudos to Pacific Yards for their amazing packing job. Seriously, amazing packing job. Like, yeah. overall, Pacific Yards, man. Five I mean, stars. Like, if it wouldn't have been packed like this, we wouldn't have gotten... We wouldn't have gotten it here um, without breaking it. Seriously. Very nice. Very yeah. nice. Five stars. Actually, Six. ten stars. Ten stars. <laughs> Is there more stars I can give them? Super host. A super, super host. Amazon Prime. <laughs> no, premium. Uber X. <laughs> Two thumbs up. 100% tomato rating. We have to get the hardware, the keys at the bottom of it before I'm just, it up. I'm just doing it temporarily. Go ahead. Wait, wait, wait. wait, wait, wait. That right there is Taurus versus Sagittarius. Do you think it's guys are brutes and girls are all methodical? Look at this! This is so this is so nice. You like the screen? It's so nice. Like, look at this. This is a really freaking nice. Now we can have the the door open all the time and no bugs. We have keys to our house. <laughs> we haven't had keys to like. Oh shit! It's broken. <laughs> oh, we have a home. We have keys to a home that's yeah. actually ours, not just for like the, an Airbnb or... For the first time in a year and a half. A year and a half. You're all teary-eyed. Wow. This, this is, a... is really important. We're going to save this in a nice little will have a metallic plate installed which will attach to the bolts on the door frame. God, I dropped it again. <laughs> what? It was too far away. Yay! <laughs> we have a door! <laughs> Hello, door. French doors before. 
Babe. Wow. This is really nice. Bye. Bye. Thanks for coming. All right. See you later. Everybody out there interested in putting up their own yurt, when you get to the door threshold part, you want to make sure this little notch right here, that notch right there, that, oh yeah, my finger's bleeding by the way, is outside the drip line. So that, and then we screwed those threshold screws in you just let me do. The notch outside the drip line. Right? Right. Ooh, you're framed here. You got a bug. Bugs already trying to get in. It's like I'm Bugs spying. Bugs are already trying to get in. I said that really weird. It's like I'm spying on you through a keyhole. <laughs> oh. Okay, let's uh, anchor this thing to the drip edge. Mm -hmm. By this thing, I mean the lattice wall, and then go to lunch. Perfect. Sounds good. <laughs> the sound effects total whiff. I win. <laughs> again. Oh, oh. <laughs> I got your camera. <laughs> I got you. Oh, you did. I thought I had it. See, that's kind of satisfying. <laughs> the whole top could be any measurement, but it has to be the same. That's 85 and a half. It's 85 and a half. I mean, we're within a quarter inch. How do you think that looks? I think it's perfect. It sits like flush perfectly up against the drip line, which is. <laughs> Kudos to us. Yeah. For a perfectly sized platform. Yeah. And the door is like 83 and a half. So it's the same height. 6 o'clock, 12 o'clock, let's check every few feet. I've never been so proud of the lighting and shadows that this lattice is creating. I love it. These are the brackets that uh, are going to go from the lattice wall to the external part of the platform, grip edge, and the frame.
have awesome deltoids. There's a couple of them flying above us. Ready? Perfect, pristine condition. Yeah.